Three siblings in Champaign were indicted by a federal grand jury this week. They're being charged with conspiracy to commit forced labor and kidnapping. WCI 3 Sarah Lehman is live in our newsroom. And Sarah, this family could face life in prison if convicted. Yeah, Jessica, prosecutors say they brought two minors from Guatemala into the United States, abused them, and forced them to work. The indictment says this all happened between December 2015 and January 2021. A criminal complaint filed in the United States District Court for the Central District of Illinois goes into detail about what the investigation found. Here's what we know. Since March 2021, local and federal officers have been investigating the smuggling, sexual assault, and forced labor of two young girls. Both are from Guatemala. Department of Justice officials say they were brought to Champaign under false promises of a better life and education. Siblings Domingo Francisco Juan, Caterina Domingo Juan, and Lorenza Domingo Dominguez Castanera are now being charged on nine counts with conspiracy to commit forced labor and kidnapping and could face life in prison. The first victim was brought to Illinois in 2016 when she was just 10. Prosecutors say both victims were forced to work in factories like Kraft and Plastipak, hotels and restaurants after school until eventually being forced to skip school, doing labor around Domingo Juan's home and working outside the home but were never allowed to keep any of the money. Prosecutors say Domingo Juan would also physically abuse the first victim if something wasn't done right. One time even going after her with a kitchen knife. Investigators say both victims were isolated from family in the United States and Guatemala and the girls' families were told it would cost ten to $15,000 for them to be released. The CEO of the Center for Prevention of Abuse says Illinois ranks in the top 10 in the country for human trafficking. And across the country, one in four victims is a child. We'll have more over on our website, WCIA.com. All right, Sarah, thank you so much.